As a teenager, Leanne Gross was supremely fit, sports mad, always active and out with her friends. So you can imagine how hard it was to discover, age just 21, that she had an aggressive form of cancer in her foot and surgeons would need to amputate one of her legs. Uh, well, Leanne's reaction to this life-changing news has been nothing short of inspirational and uh, we're delighted that she's come to the studio to see us today. This is such a positive story and we're going to talk all about your book and DVD in a minute because it, you are an inspiration. But let's just take you back to where Philip was talking there. You, you know, you were a sporty girl, very yes. fit, and I think you, you, you thought you'd sprained your ankle and took yourself off to the hospital. Yeah, I had a really lucky life, you know, really great teenage life, going out, getting my driving licence and and uh, just thought I'd sprain my ankle one day, fell over in the airing cupboard, as you do. And, uh, <laughs> we won't ask you what you were doing in your I was getting some bedding, actually. No, I, it, was all, it was all kosher. But, um, yeah, thought I'd sprain my ankle, went off to hospital um, after some x-rays and things. that They said that they found a, a shadow in my foot and it was a tumour. And so, you know, when we think of cancer, you never think of cancer no. in somebody's foot. So what did you think at that point? Oh, well, Sorry, my earrings fall. Now, this is a good start, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's lucky. Put it yeah, on there, yeah, okay, thank you. I'll remind you. I've fallen to bits here this one, um, <laughs> What was your reaction when you, know, when you heard that? Did, were you worried at that point? I think or? being quite naive, you kind of don't worry about it, because to me, I didn't even really know what a tumour was, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and uh, I've always had this philosophy in life that, okay, this is what's happening now, how do we deal with it? And I think, to be honest, it's tougher on my family and friends. Well, you it said it was me. actually seeing your dad very upset that made you think this is yeah. obviously serious. because I'd never seen my dad upset at all and I said, everything okay, dad? And yeah, fine, darling. And he's never lied to me. And I said, do you promise? Mm. And then mm. he had a few tears and you think, mm, it's serious. Well, over the, over the, the, the ensuing years, uh, it, it, we had the operation yeah. and the pain continued. Yes. So you had to go back and that's when the amputation was discussed. Yes. Um, and then so you, so, you, so you live through that and then mm -hmm. get through it as a family and yeah. remain as positive as you can. And then you find out that it's come back again and you have to go back and, and, and gradually the amputation is, is creeping further yes. up your leg. Next time I'm on, I'll be just a little head and some arms. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but so, so when, you're, when you're, you're coping with that, were you as positive then as you, as you are I really, now? I honestly have been. And I think you can't think of it as a whole thing like, oh, this has happened and that's happened. You have to think of it one thing at a time. Um, and like my dad always said, like, you know, you make checklists and you think, right, this is done, done. Mm. And um, so, yeah, it's never been one big tragedy. I mean, mm. uh, my granny passed away the night before my leg came off. And to me, that was my loss that night mm. you know a bit of skin and bone at the end of my body I'm, f I'm fine with that I can cope with that I'm still mm. the rest of me. So, so throughout as Philip was saying all these operations where they're, they're taking more and more of, of your leg you, yes. you carry on working yes. you've got, worked in, in local government yes. uh, you, you either learn to drive a, an automatic car yeah. so you yeah. can still drive um, but you were getting a bit depressed about the weight you were putting on because we said mm. you were a very fit sporty active slim girl before yeah, yes yeah and you, <laughs> and you were starting to put on weight which was depressing you a bit. Yeah, well, that was the most annoying thing, really. I think going to the swimming pool, I was more, you know, paranoid about my bum in my bikini than I was the fact that I had mm. one leg. Mm. So I thought, this is ridiculous. I've got to do something about it. And I went down on Boxing Day, as you do, saw these glossy celebrity fitness DVDs. Thought, great, I'll do that. I'm going to get fit in the new year. And I think the first exercise was like star jumps. So unless I wanted a bit of carpet burn on my chin, <laughs> it was 20 quid down the drain. Um, but uh, I thought there must be something out there. So I had a look around on the internet, nothing at all. Um, so I decided to do Leanne's chair workout. And it's just something that's totally different. Well, and here you are now with something that is, and, I, and, and we've often said, you know, there's, there's nothing truly, you know, unique and original. Somewhere, someone somewhere has done it before. Yes. But we don't think this has been done before. No. And so you've tapped into not just the British market, but worldwide. Worldwide. And this is not just people who are wheelchair bound. No. This is for people who perhaps are not as mobile if they're elderly yeah. or if they're overweight. Look, you're yes. looking at the Hart family there, you know, yeah. that are just starting, both of them yeah. very overweight, just starting to take some exercise and are finding it very difficult to get out. Yes. They could benefit it's from the family. Absolutely like everybody. And it's also for the able body too. Yes. Um, and for me, it's a real thing of, you know, I really wanted one of those celebrity fitness DVDs and now on the Amazon charts we are overtaking like Shilpa and Charlie Brooks and sorry to say it but I'm really proud of that. Of course and you are. It's yeah. for everybody. And Shall we have a look at you in action? Oh okay. Have okay. A, <laughs> let's have a look at a bit. Here you go. Now, do you remember those John Travolta days? Embarrassingly enough I do. <laughs> well, we're going to do a bit of the Travolta now. Okay we're going to reach for the skies. For eight. Four more. 
Other side. So well, that's the that's the method. Yes. How, uh, does it work? It does, and you know, I get hundreds of letters from all over the world. Um, you know, saying it's making a massive difference to their lives, um, and it really is changing lives. And you know, we're doing really well with the um, book, uh, with the DVD, sorry, mm -hmm. and the book, just a step that's just come out as well. Mm -hmm. um, I'm so proud of that because so many people ask me, "How are you so positive? Why are you so positive?" And I think this, you know, my heart is in that book mm -hmm. and and the DVD as well. And it's not about the money; it's about putting a message across, getting rid of this taboo. You know, I am. Leanne, don't see me as Leanne with one leg. You know, I want to be glitzy and glamorous and 26 and love my life. And, and these two products, my heart is in there. Mm. And also, uh, 50 pence from every DVD and every book goes to Macmillan Cancer Charity as well. Yes. And also, very exciting news Oprah Winfrey's now heard about you and she's invited well, you on to her show. Yeah, I'm going to be in going over to the States um, in March. And, and for me, yeah, I think this is the book and the DVD are kind of something that can go worldwide. Mm. And it's putting out that message, as I said, getting rid of this taboo. And just showing, you know, don't concentrate on what you can't do. Really think about what you can and go for everything in life. Yeah, we well certainly done, you. have. Very yeah. good. Thank you. Excellent. Terrific. Very good. The best of luck. And Thank you so much. Fascinating, aren't they? They are. Oh, great I can't wait. Works. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll do well in the States. I'm, uh, I'm quite mouthy. <laughs> 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 Terrific. Well, it's lovely to meet you. Yeah, Thank you, you too. It's Thank you. Uh, Leanne. Leanne Gross was here. Uh, do you remember uh, right at the very beginning of the programme, Leanne uh, has done a workout. She, uh, she lost a, a, a leg due to cancer. She had the most incredible inspiration. Mm. She got a DVD out at the moment. And we've had, we've passed them all on to her, everything that you've said. I've just seen Leanne Gross informing us about her wheelchair workout. Congratulations on her inspiration and, and success to help others. And we've had thousands mm. of those, so we've passed them Thank on. You Thank you those. very much indeed. All right, Sharon, so go for it. Indeed, so she's sat in the green room reading them all now as we speak.